Okay, so this is a uh, everybody can access. So start recording here. So our object now is to calculate what now? Volume and surface area of a cuboid, wedges, cylinder, and cone and sphere. So there are a, a, a quite a lot of things here. Uh, one of them is to find the volume first. How to find volume. How to find surface area. Different shape. So the, the shape we are looking up are cuboid, wedges, cylinder, cone, and sphere. And then, of course, then you put them together, they form even more shape, right? So this is what we're going to try to do. So we we'll start from the cuboid first. What is actually a cuboid? A cuboid, also called rectangular prism. They are, well, they are all actually cuboid are formed by six rectangular faces. So each one, you can see from the picture, look like a rectangular box, right? Each if uh, each of them is uh, have a 90 degree by angle. Okay. So how do you find the volume of this keyboard here? It's always base area times height. So base is a rectangle. You can see the base base rectangle here. So area of rectangle is base of height, it's length of height here. No, sorry, length time width, okay? Length time width, then multiply by height here. So length time width and height will give you the volume of this box, okay? Basically, it's a box, a cylindrical box here. Then how do you find the surface area of this box here? They are all together six surface area, right? One of them is the top and bottom. Top and bottom, and we use a different color here. So this is bottom here. This is the top here. Top of bottom is here. And two of them, right? That's a time two. Length time width. So this is actually give you the top and bottom. There's a time two. Okay. Top rectangle, bottom rectangle, and time two. And then next one we have two W times H here, which is two side area here. Okay, two side area here is actually, okay, two side area, base time, height time width. Okay, two side area here, height time width. Well, this is the side here, side. Okay, two side area here, base, no, the height time, width time height, okay. And then finally, we want to talk about how to find the other area here. Let's see. I want to show you this one is here, front and back. Okay, front and back, L times H. Okay, front and back here. All together, six area, six surface area. So this is three. Front and back. Okay, there are two pieces, so there is time two. That's why the time two here, right? So this is how actually find the volume of cuboid and uh, find the surface area of cuboid looks like. Okay, then this, this is the first shape here. Okay, 3D object. We are looking for volume and surface area. Okay, for this 3D object here. Next one, okay, we are looking at, it's called the wedges here now. Wedges, okay, first wedges here. Okay, let me talk about wedges here. The wedges is actually have a triangular base. Okay, wedges has five faces, consists of two triangular base. So one on the top, one on the bottom. Two triangular base, all right. One on top, one on bottom. 
and then three rectangular ways. Not base, huh? three color, two rectangular side here. So you can see that, okay, there are three side here. So if I erase this color, the three side here, okay, one on them is this one, this one, and then another one at the back, rectangle, right? So three here. How to find volume of the this wedges? So this is, this is called wedge here. Okay, this type of shape is a wedge shape of called triangular prism. So the volume of the wedges here is actually base area times height again. Base area is a triangle, right? So this uh, base area is basically half time base of height, right? No, basically it's very confusing half of this because they really a height there really. So I will try another one. Okay, say the area triangle is equal to square root of S times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, where S equal to half of A plus B plus C. Okay, this is an alternate another method to find the area triangle. Okay, it base area is a triangle now. Okay, you can find the base area triangle here. And time the height. Okay, then how do you find the surface area of this? So surface area there are one of them is a top and bottom, okay? Two base area times two, right? Top and bottom. Okay, top and bottom, two base area. And then how about the side here, the three side area here? Okay, how do we find the side area? We just add up the A, B, C here, okay? So this A, I say A here, this B here, this C here. So you add up ABC for a parameter of the base. So you get this. What well, you get is a tangle now. So one part is A here, one part is B here, one part is C here. Add up, then times height, the height here. Okay, this is actually A plus B plus C, then times height. So basically, this is A plus B plus C, then times height. Okay, then if we base triangle, we just uh, at the top and bottom area. So this is how to find the wedges of triangle prism. Okay, so this one uh, maybe not so familiar. Okay, so uh, triangle prism. So, can okay, I set this view? So, let's pass that to you here. Okay, keep what is okay. So now we are ready to look at first example. Okay, first example. There are only three examples here. Okay, let's look at this example. What is it all about here? You have open tank. In the shell of triangular prism, full of water. A, B, C, and D, E, F are two identical equilateral triangle. So let's try to understand what is mean by open tank. Means the top of the tank is open, no surface, right? There no surface. on the top. 
with no surface on the top, that's why I open 10. And then the, the base is a triangle prism, ABC and DEF. You can see from here, ABC is here, DEF is here. This is the base here. They are identical equilateral triangle. What I mean is equilateral triangle means all side have same length. Okay. How 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 do you know that? Then it tell you like A B B C A C D E E F D F all of them are three. So that means that this is three here, this three here, this three here, this three here, this three here. All of them are three. And A D B E C F A D is five, B E C F are five. Okay, these are all five. Oh, okay. okay, so they are all five here. So after you know this information already, first half of the question is find the volume of uh, the tank. Okay, volume of tank. How to find volume of tank? This is this is a triangular prism. So volume of tank is actually half area triangle, right? So half of area triangle first, and then area of triangle times height. Okay, area triangle height. So let's look at how to find area triangle now. So the triangle, let me erase this thing. So how do you find if we are trying to the high spine now? So I got an email. I see what's actually going on here. Okay, so now uh, let's continue. How to find the area of triangle? So we make use of the formula we know. Area of triangle first, we look at S first. S equal to half A plus B plus C, right? A is three, B is three, C is three. Yeah, by two we get four point five. So if we are triangle in this case, if we are triangle is equal to square root of S S minus A S minus B S minus C. Okay, so this is actually square root of four point five over Four by five minus three, then four point five minus three, and then four point five minus three. So you get four by five minus three. Yeah? So multiply them out here, you get four point five times one point five now. 
4.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. Okay, then take the square root is equal to 3.89. Okay, 3.89 or 3.90, okay. This is in uh, meter. This is area triangle. So I want to find the area triangle, what is the volume of the tank now? It's area triangle times 3.897 times 5, right? So answer for volume of tank now. Is 3.897 times 5, the height is 5 now. So you get this is actually 18.5 now, okay? So 19.5 meter cube. Okay, this is how you find part A. Okay, this how you find part A, find the volume of the tank. So I can WhatsApp this to you. Okay. Then how to find part B, right? Total surface of the tank in contact with the water, okay? The main thing is total contact in contact with water. So let me select this page here. Okay, yeah. So remember this is an open tank. So top has no area. Okay, so open tank. So the top has no surface. I want to find the total surface area in contact with water. The keyword is in contact with water, surface area in contact with water. Since the top has no surface, the top has no contact with water. So there are only four surfaces here. So the total surface area, actually what are they now? So total surface area. Okay, the two triangle is in contact with water. So triangle ABC, okay, triangle, the two triangle is in contact with water and the two rectangle. Okay, two rectangle, which are they? Actually, the two surfaces you can see from here, they are in contact with water. Okay, so this one is in contact with water. And then another one at the back is in contact with water, right? So these two area are in contact with water. Otherwise, okay, right? So two triangle at the base, okay? Two triangle at the base. And then two side triangle, two side rectangle, one front, one behind, okay? So now how to find the area of the triangle? We know area triangle, just now we find part one is is actually 3.897. Okay, 3.897. Then rectangle, okay, we know that this side is 5, 
this side is 3, so area of the tangle is 3 times 5. So 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, 2 are done. So now I will calculate okay, 2 times 3.897. As two times three times five, and then this will give you thirty seven point seven three. So thirty seven by seven three. Okay, okay, because I think a bit round off here. Like it, how come? I think thirty seven. How come it's not? Okay, let me see. 2.3 oh I am key in only okay. 2.897 okay. 37.789 which is equal to 37 by 8 uh, meter square okay so this is how to do Example 5 or Part B. The two triangle there in contact with water, and then two rectangle there in contact with water. The, the top is not, the top has no surface, so the top surface don't need to count. So this is Example 5. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So I will introduce another 3D object now. Okay, I think this is a way going to be a cylinder now. Okay, uh, by the way, I have also worked out this answer. For you, it's different method. Okay, for example, the area of triangle I'm using half A, B, sine C, where C equals 60 degree, okay? A and B equal to three. So this is actually uh, A here, B here, and then this angle is 60 degree. Okay, so we can use this. to find area of triangle, if you want to, Okay. And then the rest is the same method here, except that uh, probability of the base only two, rather than do this, uh, I, I don't use the model, just two triangle and then two, uh, two triangle and then the side only a two rectangle only, right? So sometimes you don't want, you need to remember the formula. So I try not to remember the formula. Okay, I'll set this to you. Okay, so now we we'll move on to cylinder. So cylinder is a base is a circle now okay the base of radius r and the height h here so what is the volume of cylinder always base area times pi so base area is pi r square okay so in pi r square times height here so this is quite common i think a lot of people know this how to find the surface area now okay surface area in this case for this cylinder two piece one on top, one below. Okay. 
on top here is pi r square, below is pi r square. So that is why you get two times of this thing. It's pi r square plus pi r square. Okay, top and bottom. Then, curve surface area, the side area. How you get, look at how to get the side area here. You can imagine that you have cut open it by a scissor. When you open up, then you get a rectangle. Okay, cut open. Then the circumference is two by R. For a circle open up, you get a circumference. The height is H here. That is why the area of this thing here, you want to find the area here, is 2 pi r times h here, based on height here, is 2 pi r times h here. So that's why, okay, this is actually the curved surface area we may expand out this one, okay, curved surface area, 2 pi r times h here. So this is how to visualize the cylinder, okay, volume of cylinder. Can okay, pass that to you. Okay, so I have talked about cylinder array. I think here is an example working on cylinder now. Example six, an open cylinder tank has an external diameter of four meter and external height eight meter. <laughs> the tank is made of a metal 2 cm thick. Calculate the volume of the metal required. So we are actually looking for the volume of the material, the metal here. So how to find the volume of the metal? So actually you have to do two things. One is try to find the volume of, okay, you're looking for volume now. Basically, Basically, they're looking for volume of water. Matter here, basically the same as the volume of water. Okay, it's basically same as volume of water here. It's not really same as water. It's, it's just they try to figure out the volume of a tank externally, then subtract the volume of water. Okay, let's look at the big tank first. The big tank here. So. In a big tank. Okay, big tank. And the uh, height is eight there. And the diameter is four. Okay, so we can talk about volume of big tank, huh? volume of external tank. The formula for volume of external tank is pi r square times height. The r is equal to 2 now because diameter is 4. So this is pi times 2 square times height, height is 8 here. So this will give you 32 pi, and eight, 4 times 8 times pi here. So 32 times pi here. Okay, 32 times pi here, then equal. And then how much is that? It's 100 by 53.
Okay. Then we're going to calculate the volume of water inside there. The volume of water inside there, how to do that? Okay, inside. Water, this one, contain water, right? So volume of water. Water I use for color here. Okay, water, how much water inside there? You will fill up. Okay, so what is the diameter to this here? You look carefully, this one, the thickness, 2 cm. Okay, thickness is 2 cm. Okay, 2 cm. So this is 2 cm here. So 2 cm here. So this one and another 2 cm. So the diameter now is actually hot now. 4 meter minus 2 times 2 cm. 2 cm is 0 0.02, right? Okay. Diameter of diameter of water of internal tank. So it actually two four minus two times zero to one zero two, right? Because two cm is zero point zero one uh, meter. So you find that four minus zero point zero four is actually four minus zero point zero four is actually 3.96 now. So that means that this diameter is 3.96 meter now. And then how about the thickness? Because the metal tank have a thickness there. Also 2 cm. So and the top has no cover, right? Open, right? Means no cover on top. No cover on top, right? So no cover on top. So you can feel to the top there. You can feel water to the top there. So this height now is actually, it's not eight anymore. It's eight minus 0 0.02, okay? Because so by two, two, two uh, meter, okay? Two cm is zero point zero two meter. So you get seven point nine eight. Because the base has a thickness, the base is actually two cm. So deduct two cm is seven point nine eight here. So volume of water, okay? In this case, uh, can find out what of water is actually how much there now. What volume of water? Is pi r square times h r. R is 3.96 now. Or we write 2. 3.96 divided by 2. Diameter is 3.96. So radius is 3.96 divided by 2. And the height is 0.98 now. And then you find out how much is this water are there in the container. So you can type in 3.96 and then you square it times 3 minus divided by 2, right? So I must divide by 2. 3.96 divided by 2 first, then I square it, then times 7.98, then times pi, okay, 98.284.
So after you take the volume of a big tank minus the volume of water, so what is how much matter is used now? So what volume of matter now? The use in this tank is as you take 100.53, take away the volume of water. Okay, so subtract. And then you get 2.25. Okay, 2.25 there. Okay, so this is how you get answer for example six for a cylinder. So the, the volume of a cylinder tank is pi r squared times h. Okay, you have to measure the height for each case. What the volume of water if you fill up is 7.98 now. The diameter of water in, in your tank is 3.96. So this is how you get the example six here. I can most of this to you. Okay, so if you want to see the standard solution, the standard solution actually uh, not so not very interesting because I you can actually yeah standard solution very short only, but of course a lot of working is high from you lah. Huh? So standard solution, look at this one, which I have spent more explanation to you now. Okay, so next one. We are looking at something less familiar now. How do you calculate the volume of a sphere and surface area of a sphere? I think many of you are not aware of this formula. So for a sphere, how to find the volume of a sphere? The formula is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So this is actually maybe not so familiar to you already because many of you have not do this calculation before. 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Then how to find the surface area of a sphere? So if you, you find how much surface cover here, okay? You want to show how much surface cover here? Answer is 4 pi r squared. Okay, so volume is how much space occupied. The surface area is 4 by r square now. So these two are uh, maybe you're not so familiar. Okay, I've not ever done this before, calculation before. Then the worst is the cone. And then cone, now you see the cone there on the right hand side. Okay. how to find the volume of cone. Okay, volume of cone is actually again a different formula now. Okay, it's actually one third pi r square h. What is h here? Yeah? h is the vertical height. h here. Yeah. Okay, h is the vertical height. And then R is the radius at the base. Okay, so one third of pi R square times H is the how to find the 
volume of the code. Then another one is how to find the surface area of the code now. Okay, then I need to explain to you how to find surface area of the code. Now. The cone, you see that there are two areas. One of them is a base. Yeah. Base pi r square. Okay. Given a base pi r square. Which one? Easy to understand. Pi r square. Given a circle. Okay. So this one, all right. The other one, curve surface area. Okay. This one, I need to. Let's explain a little here. Now, in this curve surface area, I need to know something called the slant height. Okay, slant height is used L here in the formula. This is height here. This L here is called the slant height. Of course, this is the base that the radius here. It is the O here. So actually look at this triangle, angle triangle here. So this is the part trying you trying to tell you the relation between the stand height, the height and the radius for this cone. Okay. Then how about curve surface? If you want to find figure out what's the curve surface area here. Okay, so let me erase this thing. Show you how this thing will like, yeah? So what I'm going to do is cut it open. When you cut it open, okay, cut it open, what do you get? You get V below, okay? You get something like V below, okay? The V here, and then V below here. Open up. Okay. Something like this come up. Cone. And this is, this side is stand high. Okay. This side is stand high here. It's a one here. And When you have this, okay, how much is this thing here? Okay, the surface area is different now. It's a pi r l. R is actually the radius of a at the base. So pi r l. L is the standard here. Which is actually a triangle there. So what you actually is put out first, then you find out the straight look like something like a fan, okay? Look like a fan, and then the area of that fan is pi r l. So this is something not so familiar to you. Maybe I should what's happening to you here? Here come the last example. Okay. The example, a buoyant consists of a cone and a hemisphere. I show the diagram. The cone has a perpendicular height, 0.3, which shown the diagram there, and the base radius, 0.4. Also show that. Find the volume of the surface. Find the volume here. So I try to find the volume first. Find the volume of this buoyant. So this buoyant consists of two parts. 
one is a cone. So if you draw the cone, okay, one is a cone, one is a hemisphere. Hemisphere is half sphere. Okay, what do we know about the uh, dimension of this? First, I want to find volume, right? The height is 0 0.3. So this is 0 0.3 here. Height, 0 0.3. With this, 0 0.4. So I could drop my 4. So volume or cone, we know. Volume of cone is one third, there's something maybe new to you, one third pi r squared times the height. Okay, well, of course, one third pi r squared times height here. You can see from the formula, one third pi r squared times height here. And that will be one third pi R is 0 0.4, H is 0 0.3. So let's find out what this thing is. One third of pi R square. So one third of I R squared. I zero point four square the height zero point three. Okay, zero point zero five. Okay, in meter cube. This is the volume of the code and using one third pi r squared of h here. Okay, next I want to find the volume of hemisphere. Hemisphere is half sphere, right? Hemisphere means half sphere. Huh? So, volume of hemisphere Now, volume of a full sphere, if 4 over 3 pi r cube. Okay, full sphere. Volume of a full sphere is this one, 4 over 3 pi r cube. So, we use it, but now this is half of a sphere, so multiply by half. Multiply by half here. So, you get 2 over 3 pi r is what? This radius is 0 0.4. So the 0 0.4 power 3. So altogether, this is a 2 over 3 now. And times pi times 0 0.4 power 3. This will give you 0 0.134. So from here, I can find the volume of the point here. So volume of the point here is HG. Put them together. Stack them together. Is 0 0.05 plus 0 0.134 and then you get 0 0.184 now. Okay, so this is how we answer the first part of the question.
Okay, now we we'll move on to the second part. Right? Find the surface area. Surface area now, right? Surface area now. Now I want to find surface area. Okay, how to find surface area? There are, uh, there's a cone, there is a hemisphere. So let me draw again. There's a cone. There's a hemisphere. Over there, I want to find the surface area now. So how to find the surface area? You only need to find a curved surface area now. Curve. Surface area. Why? You don't need to find the base area now. So this area here, for example, this part of the area, this one, this area is invisible. Okay, this area invisible surface. Why this is in Mesa survey? Because this is covered up also by the sphere. Okay, this is actually 0.4 here. And this is 0.3. So this is also invisible. Okay, the radius is 0 0.4. Okay, so you only need to calculate the curve surface area, right? As I say, the curve surface area, you need to find out why this thing slant height L. Okay. This L here is called the slant height. So the curve surface area, the formula for this one is pi R L. Okay. And refer to the formula again, pi R L. You don't need to find find the area of the base now. So pi R L only. So how to find L? So you can find at the case of curve L is equal to this is R here, this is H here. So H square plus R square, which is equal to 0.3 square plus 0.4 square. Okay, so you add them up. So by 0 to 5, right? So by 3 square plus 0.4 square. Okay, 0.25. So take square root of 0.25. And okay. get 0.5. Okay. Five, huh? So L is 0.5 meter. So I is 0.4. So get pi. Um, 0 0.4 L 0.5 So you get 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 Okay 
supaya Okay, so this is actually zero point six two eight now. Okay, meter square surface area. Then how about the sphere? The surface area of the sphere is actually okay hemisphere, right? So, uh, surface area of Hemisphere is equal to for a full sphere is four pi r square. Okay, for a full sphere, four pi r square. But now we don't have a full sphere. We have half of a sphere only. So it's half of four pi r square. So r is equal to zero point four. Square. So two pi times zero point four square. So two times pi times zero point four square. You get one point zero zero five three. So this is a meter square also. So again, you don't you don't need to count the green surface, right? Green part of surface don't count anymore. And so the total surface area of the buoyant is 0 0.5 plus 1.0053. I don't make mistake here. I think I made mistake somewhere already. Mm -hmm. Two pi time. 2.4 square. Okay, I got mistake. Yeah, yeah, I copy wrong thing. What I see? This one is surface area is zero point six two eight, right? Zero point six two eight, huh? So you take this area here and take this area here, add together. And yeah, don't use this color. This color means very easily. Use different color. So add together. Okay. So I must do it plus one point zero zero five. You get one point six three. Meter square. So this is how you answer. The uh, part B, basically all all the surface area now. Part one is volume. Part B is tricky here because you cannot count the invisible area because they overlap. You cannot see them in the external.
Now, if you want to see the solution in, my, in the brief solution, okay, this is about, I have a brief solution here. Basically, this is what I did here. Uh, put everything together, but I think this expansion is not good, not so good like that, because I show you more explanation there. Okay, so I finished the lesson. This is the last example, I believe. Okay, I finished the lesson anyway. This is the last example, I believe. Okay, I'll start recording.